Hello and welcome to a Tuts Plus Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham and in this video we're going to go somewhere over the rainbow as part of our Halloween Wizard of Oz project. I'm going to show you how to create a rainbow from a blend and then turn that blend into a brush that you can paint on any stroke. So let's get started. The first step is to create the blend and I have seven thin rectangles here set up in red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. I set up my swatches in advance, but you can use any of the default swatches in your document. These are the colors of the spectrum, and the mnemonic device that you may have heard of is Roy G. Biv. I think that's supposed to be somebody's name, but that's how you remember the order of the colors in the rainbow. So now I just want to select all of these rectangles and make my blend. I'll go up to the object menu to blend make. Now we have a nice gradated rainbow made up of those seven rectangles. Now if you're not seeing this nice smooth transition between the objects, double click on the blend tool to adjust its settings. You can see under spacing I have smooth color selected. If you have specified steps, for example, with only say one step in between, you won't see that smooth transition. So make sure to double check that if you're not seeing this smooth blend. I'll undo that and get back to the way it was before. Now we can create our rainbow shape directly from this blend. I'll move it down to the bottom of my artboard and go up to the effect menu to warp arc. And there's our rainbow. As you can see in the warp options dialog, I have a horizontal arc with a 100% bend. You can adjust that percentage, but I like to turn it all the way up for the full effect. Let me make this a bit smaller so it fits on the artboard. This is a live effect, and if you go to the Appearance panel, you can see it there. If you want to edit the settings, simply click on the name in the Appearance panel. If I view the document in Outline Mode, you can see my blend here. This line here is the spine of the blend, and you can see the original rectangles that were used to create it. But hey, I thought you said this was going to be a brush tutorial. Well, it is. So I'm going to get rid of this effect by dragging it to the trash in the Appearance panel. So now I have just my original blend, and to create a brush from this, I can click the new brush icon at the bottom of the brushes panel, or I can simply drag this object into the brushes panel itself. And in the new brush dialog, choose art brush. In the art brush options that come up after that, you can give your new brush a descriptive name if you like, and I'm going to choose fixed for the width. If you're using a tablet that has pressure sensitivity, you might want to choose that, but Fixed is good for now. Under the Scale options, Stretch to Fit Stroke Length is checked, and I want to leave that checked. And you can see in the preview box here, there's a faint blue arrow, and that just means that this shape is going to fit to that stroke length. All of this stuff on the right, we can leave alone, so click OK. Now I can see my new brush in the Brushes panel, and it's called Rainbow. Now I'll take the Brush tool and simply paint a stroke, and the brush follows it. This is just like any other art brush stroke. I can manipulate the paths, or I can use the width tool even to change its width at the various nodes. So for example, I could make this end sharper and this end wider if I wanted to. You can apply this art brush to any stroke. Here I have a circle, and I'll just click on the brush in the brushes panel to apply it. And now I can do some interesting things with other effects. So for example, I'll choose zigzag, and I can play around with these options to achieve a kind of rainbow psychedelic medallion. But if we want to get back to the rainbow, you can choose the Line Segment tool, draw a horizontal line, apply the brush to it, and go back to that warp arc effect that we used earlier. So there's our full vector rainbow created from a blend and a warp effect. Thanks for watching.